Greetings friends and welcome to Enigma Night Gaming. My name is Liara and I will be your guide in today's adventure. Today we are playing Riven, which is the sequel to Mist. And in today's episode, we are going to learn what our mission here on Riven is. How did we get here? Why are we here? What is our goal? As well as explore some of the scenic routes on the island. So without further ado, let's hop into the game. Hello? Hi, I remember you. All right. I need your help. What do you need our help with? There's a great deal of history that you should know. Okay. I'm afraid that I must continue my writing. Here. Most of what you'll need to know is in there. Keep it well hidden. All right. Who are we trying to keep it hidden from? For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. All right. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid, to capture again. Oh. So we Once gotta you capture someone. Catherine. Signal me. Okay. And I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. Okay. Well. Sounds exciting. also a chance if this all goes well that I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from oh well that would be nice I guess we're heading to Riven oh boy So, there's this. We can't do anything with it. All right. Uh, what's over here? Can we go up this observatory? We can go across the bridge. Oh, what's in here? There's a button. What does this do? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, it turns the whole room. Oh, what is this? Hello? Oh, we can look through here? Interesting. Okay. So we have this book here. Let's look at the book. So, uh, I don't know what these dates are. Um, they held me for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Uh, revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible that I've made an error, though I've checked my entry against my pre-notation uh, pre and can find no discrepancy. I've not had a rest in nearly three days, so it may be that I'm just not seeing it. If the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however, uh, perhaps after a short rest, I will see something. 
Success! It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work and I should be free, at last, to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I have received no sign from her in all that time. I'm afraid that no, I must assume that she is all right, lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. I did not create the Age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power, and yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. But the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gen. So this is the person we're supposed to capture, right? I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the Islanders if he is still the man he once was. I haven't seen him in over 30 years, but his history forces me to assume that he is still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Denai civilization has left too many innocent uh, uh, culture, uh, Dene. Dene civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake and would continue to do so were he want, uh, to once again be refer, uh, free of the confines of Riven or the Fifth Age as he coldly titled it. So is Dene. I think that's the place we came from, right? The universe has been safe from his corruptive influence for the last 33 years because no one has been able to leave that age. The last linking book out of Riven has been lost in the star fissure upon my return to Mist. That was my intention, to maroon my father. Oh, Gen is her, his father? Uh, on Riven by removing all the existing links to other worlds. And since the art of constructing books had long been lost with the fall of the, of the uh, Dunny, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. In effect, that is what we achieved, but the way it fell, however, was no one's ideal. Though, uh, though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me. At the time, it all seemed so clear. At the time, uh, Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue, but it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. Enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. The stipulation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired in the years since that time has yet to be applied to this problem. All right, moving forward. I think I have the solution. Why did it not occur to me sooner? I do not know unless the idea of it has uh, had been pushed out with uh, the thought of my sons. Um, and then we have a prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula and with little experimentation, quickly succeeded in creating one of those, these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text, but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, okay? Such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped and the first person displaced back into the world. So that's what we saw in the first game in Mist, how uh, his sons were trapped in the book and, um, you know, we could get trapped if we freed them, right? This technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back to here to deny, uh, Dunny? Uh, trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have begun again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not, at first, concern me. However, 
Tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during this initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate again, incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. Uh, I must act while I still have time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do so. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's uh, economy of worlds has yielded. But it is a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There is no end to this. The last few days have all but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that, at best, I can only strive to delay it now and hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. Uh, I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. Well, he didn't discontinue them too long. It looks like he discontinued them for six days. Something truly miraculous has happened beyond all conceivable probability. Someone has finally found my lost missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. I'm still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are for, uh, formidable, but the, more, the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven and proceed with my original intent to find Catherine has given me renewed hope. Uh, the last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once Gen had been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven and risk the possibility of inadvertently re uh, releasing Gen. The deteriorated state of the gateway image makes the use of a visual signal impossible, but the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an elementary change from within the age. The idea may be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems, the star fissure. But how, or even if, this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I received the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, provided that my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, assuming the island does not incur, incur much damage in my absence, it should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Uh, Predetermining a signal without knowing the topography of the island may prove to be impossible. But I'm afraid there can be only one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. He may not be disappointed. Okay. So, I think we also had a book, right? I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn this back around. I'm not sure... There may be something we have to observe there, but we'll turn this around and then we'll take a peek ourselves, right? Oh, we may have to turn it a couple of times. What do we see now, I wonder? Uh, okay, so the room is rotating now. Okay, let's, let's uh, try rotating it once again. Um, all right, what is in this room? I see scarabs. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this guy is like... We have some people... Are they worshipping him? 
I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it. What else do we got? All right. What is this one? Uh oh. He's very angry. What is this that we have the book here, right? Who is this? Is this who is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be Gen? Is he like destroying the world? I don't know. What else do we have? Uh, did we look at this one? Was this the one we just looked at? It may have been the one we just looked at. Okay, so that was the one we just looked at. Alright, let's look at this one. There may be only three. I'm not sure. Okay. So now this one, we have somebody here. And then there's like four people. And underneath here, they're like rebuilding, handing out parchments. What exactly is going on? And then there's a tree where the papers are falling from the tree. Okay. And then I think this is the one we already looked at. What is this stuff down here? Let, let's just verify this is the one we looked at. But I'm pretty sure it... Oh, it's not. Okay, this is a new one. What is this? It looks like a monster. Like... Oh, they put logs in. Okay, so it's like a log chipper. They put logs in, and then it's coming out in books. Are they, like, worshipping the books? So there's some kind of machine here, and they're throwing it in the fire? What even is this imagery supposed to mean, I wonder? Hmm. All right, now. I assume this one we've seen, right? Uh, no, this one's still a new one. How many are in here? Okay, so is this... Oh, wait. Maybe this is uh, the our, our host here writing his two sons into the book. What is this? I don't know. Or maybe this is just creating a book. I don't know. We just got some interesting imagery here. And I'm not sure what exactly we do with it, for sure. All right, now this one is, now we're back to the beginning. Okay, so he creates the book, and they're like basically worshiping him, uh, worshiping, worshiping him because he created them. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. All right, I don't know. There's all this text here, too. And I'm not sure what we're supposed to make of this. What's over here? We can see something over here. Is there a way we can get into that? I don't know. Because we can't we can't push this and then get into this little cubby, right? Yeah, I don't think we can. So there's something we'll have to figure out. Because hmm. I don't know what we can accomplish from this. We can see the scarab. I think if we did it again, we saw something else. But I'm not sure what that gives us yet. We'll definitely have to come back to this, I believe. Once we figure out what the deal is with those scarabs. It could just be giving a story. Wait. Wait a second. Oh, there's five sides. Okay, now we're at the original area. Okay, okay. So there's another area. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's keep going and seeing what we can discover. Uh, what's over here? Is there anything here? Like, this is mighty suspicious that there's nothing there. Oh. Wait. Okay. What is this? Can we... Oh. 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 Okay. Wait. Wait. Oh. This is like the other side. Okay. 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 So, we want to hit the button. What? Maybe we want to move it 
so that I think we might want to move it one more time. And then maybe we can go in through that door. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So that door is open. I'm not sure. Let's just go check because I'd rather check rather than have to do it like five more times. Okay. So that one just still leads us over there. That's fine. Let's do it. I kind of thought I might have to do it two more times anyways. So, or two times total to get it. Because when we did this, the doorway was open, right? But let's see. Yes, this way is still an observation door. But I think it might have moved the opening over here so let's see if we can get in now i don't know if we can but we can see oh we can what does that give us exactly like are these any different now they're still the same what do we do with this information I feel like this has to be important somehow. Oh, we can click up. Could we click up before? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. So maybe there's something that we'll have to do with that. But right now, I'm not sure what we'll do with it. So we have discovered a secret. Let's continue on over here uh, and look and see what other secrets. Okay, this is where we came out. What is this? Okay, so it's going to be some kind of a code that we've got to come up with. Um, it's blurry. Can we turn it somehow? Hmm. Maybe we need to find a lens. Possibly. Ooh, that's a that's a deep cliff. All right, what is this thing? Can we can we see what this is? I'm not sure. There's also you can look all over the place. It looks like look up. Um. There's a giant observatory there. What if we just try clicking? Does that work? Of course not. That would be too easy. All right. What is this? Oh. Okay. Uh, does that mean this can move now? Hmm. Nothing appears to be able to move around here. Is there um, a, a break on this side? I'm not sure. But we, we moved the stop. Maybe now we can do this. This uh, lever? Maybe. Uh, no, it still seems to be stuck, right? What if we move it back? Was that what was allowing it to go, maybe? Let's see. No. This is definitely... Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything we can do with this yet. I want to get across that island. Like, let's go up here and go across here and see what we got. Can we go in here? Hello? I'm not sure I want to sit down there. Just saying. I guess we are. What is this? This is... 
It opened? Okay, we're opening the door. Okay. What is this one? Um, okay, well, hopefully we're not about to drown or something. Let's see what happens. Um, where are we going? Can we hear anything? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is giving us sound. We're hearing... He said something about sound, right? Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what we're hearing there. Let's do this one again. It's closing the door. Um, what room is that, I wonder? I don't know. And we can't do anything with this one. This one is just like an observatory sort of deal. Alright, now what happens if we get in? With the door closed, does that give us any different response? Or is it still going to be the same thing? I'm still just hearing the same kinds of noises. Like, it sounds intense, but I don't know what that's giving us. All right, let's try opening the door and then heading out. That might be a way to get into more places on the island, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll at least have it open and check it out. All right. Can we head out? What did? Oh, it closed the cage. Okay. Now we go out. Okay. So yeah, I definitely don't know what we're looking at there, but we're heading to the, the golden city. Oh wait. No, we're not. This is where we want to go. But where does it lead us? There's a door here. Okay, let's go in. This is what we were just observing. Okay. Interesting. And this leads us back out. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is just where we were. What's over here? Is this like a like a temple room? They're like they've created some kind of worship here. That's what this looks like. It looks like some kind of um, throne. Can we do something with this? Hmm. Obviously, this is connected to the other stuff. But how? Hmm. And then this leads here. What does that do? Anything? Anything at all? What is that I'm seeing? Oh! It called some kind of cart. Some kind- Oh! It's like a little shuttle. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess in that case, uh, I, I, I guess, what, what's over here? This is like the, the shuttle area, okay. I mean, sure, I guess. I guess we're going. Going in the opposite direction. We're gonna get a nice little panoramic. Oh boy. Now we go forward. Oh boy. This is pretty cool. 
imagine riding this for real? It's like a roller coaster. Although, to be honest, knowing that the world is decaying, I would be scared to death to ride on it. All right. So now we get out. All right. What did we find here? All right. So we're on a new area. And um, we will check this out. What is this? Huh. What is that connected to? It does KI or something like that? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what's up here? We're in a mysterious cave. There's a button here. I don't know what that did. So we'll just say, okay. Oh, we're up in the trees. So this is presumably where they cut the trees. Let's see what we can find here. That's a lot of trees to cut down. We got all these tracks over here. There's an axe here. Okay. Um, what's down here? Oh, we're going on a minecart ride. We're just going on all kinds of places. Hang on tight, guys. It's another roller coaster ride. Uh, is that rings of fire? What in the world? This is crazy. What even am I looking at? Where are we going? Oh my goodness. Um. Well then. Well, that was exciting. We're just getting into all kinds of new places starting to see how this island is put together i guess it's very dark oh no where's our flashlight guys there's light at the end of the tunnel what where are we heading all right Okay. Oh, and then we're on a slide. Uh, hello. That was exciting. Okay, I sort of recognize this area. It reminds me, that machine in particular, reminds me of uh, areas that we saw on the scarabs, right? I don't see anything over here. Okay, so let's look up here. What is this, a furnace? Maybe? What's over here? Oh, I probably shouldn't be messing with stuff right away. Probably. Let's see. Does that do anything? Oh, it does do that. Okay. Uh, what does that do, though? Does nothing. Okay, what about this? We're just randomly hitting buttons. It's totally cool. Absolutely no problems. Alright, what's going to happen? So, well, the water stopped. That's got to be a good thing, right? 
I don't see the fire going. Maybe we can open it now? Okay. What's in here? Uh, is that footprints? I don't know. I'm guessing we're going to want to drain this before we can do anything. So how can we drain it? Can we like turn it this way? Make it go down? Will it, will it drain if we do this? Let's see. I don't know what this is going to do. I'm looking at the water. Oh, it's boiling the water. Okay, that's what we're seeing. It's heating the water up. Interesting. And what does this do? Um, let's see. This stops the fire. I'm not sure what the right lever does exactly. Uh, we can turn this out. Oh, but what if we turn this on now? Will that, will that be fire? What, what did we do? Okay, okay. I thought maybe the left pipe might control the fire, but no, I feel like that's got to be the draining of the water, right? So we got to figure out how we can get that to drain. All right, let's try, uh, let's see. Can we do anything with this? Does that give us anything? Let's look over here. Maybe, oh, we got to go down there, I think. All right. Maybe to the end of this and see what's going on. Okay. So we'll be sending water it was going over there. Now it should be, in theory, going down this pipe, which is the one we need. Let us see if that is, in fact, the case. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So we're getting it to drain out. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. So let's head back in and see what we can find now. All right. Well. I don't know what this gives us exactly. We have drained it. But I'm not sure we can do anything with this yet. Do we need to, like, heat it up? Like, what happens if we turn the fire on with no water? Is it just an incinerator? Because there's no water in here. What's going to happen? It's just going to light up the floor, I would assume. Like, make it super heated. Right? Let's see. Are we able to open it when it's like this? Oh, no, because it's like, it's on hot. Okay. Uh, what happens if we add water now? Does it do anything? Maybe we have to lift this one and check it out. Like, maybe there's something when we lift that handle that it unlocks for us. Let's see. Uh, anything in here? We still can't do anything with this. Which doesn't really help us a whole bunch. There's this cage in the middle, but I don't know what that cage does. We gotta figure out how we can do something with that. If we swap it here, does it fill it back up again?
Oh. Oh. There's no water in it now, though, right? But the floor is lifted up? Right? It didn't look like there was any water in there. Now we can go down, maybe? Let's see. Now we can go down. Okay. I can see nothing. Oh, we're through a tube. Where are we heading to now? Uh, where is this? Oh my. So many new and strange places. What is this? Okay. Oh. That's like a pressure plate trap, right? Okay, so we put one here. Uh, now what do we do? We got to somehow stop this, I assume? Hmm. Okay, so somehow we want to stop this. What do we need to do, though? That's the question. Okay, so can we take any more? I don't know. It's still got one on there. What is this? Is this like fuel? Maybe. Maybe we need to close this and then do it. Maybe. Maybe? Okay. What happens if we have this off? What does that do? Anything? Hmm. Okay. Maybe there's something else we're missing. What is this? Hello? We're just finding all the secrets? Um, okay. We've got a ladder into there from down here. Nice. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe we need to swap the water. Do I hear a bird or a dolphin or something? I don't know. That water goes up there. I feel like we want to send it to the original place, right? Hmm. But how can we get out? Is there a way we can get out there? Oh, we can do this. Okay. Go around this way. Okay, so now we can send it back over here, right? And you send it even further? No. So it's got to be this way, I would think. Uh, and now we just go back behind here. And then up the ladder. So maybe that's the secret of what we need. We needed to send some water in here. Do we have water now? Aha, we do. Okay, what happens now? Okay, we send it down. Do we bring it up now? What are we bringing up with it? We're going fishing, guys. What did we get? I don't know what that accomplished us. There's no seed here. Is there? There is. Hmm. If we close it and send it down, what happens? I'm curious. What do we see when we when it hits the bottom? Can we look up? Is there anything we can do up there? 
We can't get it to stop yet, right? Okay. So, what do we do now? I guess let's pull it up and see what happens. If this doesn't work, we can try taking the bean off or whatever it is, the pellet. But I really have no idea what we're accomplishing here. Anything? Yeah, we're still not getting anything. Like, can we do anything with this? No. But we can go along here. Okay. So, we could go down the hatch. Does that get us anything? Um, what if we, like, can we go over here? And see where the bucket is going down to? It's going down to there, but I just don't know. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that yet. Um, but we could try. I want to see what happens if we send it. Can we send it over, over even farther over here? We can. So what happens when it's over here? At this machine. All right, let's look. What is this machine? Um, I don't know. It's the, it's the thing we came out of, sure. There's, there's something else we can do with it. I don't know. It looks like a, a, a paper grinder. All right, if we turn all the way around, we can go up, but maybe, maybe we have to approach it from this way. No, we cannot seem to uh, approach it in a way to climb up. I mean, I would think we could, oh, we can climb up. I'm just being silly. Whoopsie. All right, so what does that do for us, though? Oh, wait, there's a thing here. Can we pull this? I don't want to jump in that. Okay, so this is the paper shredder, right? I wonder if it's been used for nefarious purposes. Hmm, makes one wonder. All right, what else can we do? But yeah, definitely whatever would be dumped out of there would get ground up and then thrown out that, out this pipe. So we got all kinds of sawdust. I'm assuming this is how they would transport the logs, right? And make uh, the paper. All right. So actually, what I want to see is what happens if I go back up here. Because I can't see anything over there. What if I go back up here? uh and try and pull it up now because there's no power right okay so can i do anything over here i cannot let's go get the water back over here because whatever we're doing we gotta do it with the can i go up here wait what's over here oh what is this hmm go up even higher Interesting. All right. Well. Go out here. And let's head uh, back out and put the water back on the third level, right? I don't think we can put it out a fourth way, right? Yeah, it doesn't go anymore. It's these three. That's the only ones we can do. And I think whatever we're doing, we've got to be able to do while it's got water power. What exactly we're doing, I, I really don't know. Unless there's something that we can see 
from over here. I just don't know. Unless we can do something out over this way. We can't drop any more beans. I just, I don't know. I'm baffled. What is this puzzle exactly? Hmm. I just don't know. Unless there's some way we're supposed to come. Oh. Hello. Oh. Well then. Where did he go? Interesting. I don't know. Either way. I'm, I'm not sure what we do here. Unless there's something that we can do over here. I, I, I don't know. Is there a way we can get out of this area? We might be stuck here for the time being. Because I don't, I don't know that we can get back out of here. If we go over this way. Um, are we able to do anything? I just don't, I don't think so. Oh, unless we can go up this. What's in here? Is this, oh, okay. So this is our way out, I assume? Maybe. We're on a minecart ride again. Let's see where we head this time. I'm guessing this will take us back to the other part of the island. I'm hoping we don't drown here. Okay, good. Oh, that's cool. So those lights are keeping the water out. It's like a glass tunnel or something. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's what it is, but you know, this is a magical land. Who knows what it is? Either way. What did we get stuck on? Should I be worried about that? I don't want to get stuck on an underground, wa uh, underwater roller coaster. That doesn't sound like a good time. All right, we're almost out. Bonk. We have bonked. Okay, um, can we get out? Okay, there's a little bug there, it looks like. All right, so now we're back at the tree area. So, yes, I think what they did is they, there's all these little bugs around. All the little bugs. Hello, little bug. Oh. It's a little scarab. Oh. Huh. Okay. Well. Um. We're in the. In the forest. We have all kinds of foresty sounds. I think the mine carts must have gone along here. Oh. What is this? Hello, sir. What are you? Are you like some kind of scarab? I don't know. Interesting. I don't know what you are. Seems to be some kind of holy area of sorts. Okay. Um... Now, which way? This way leads us the way we just were, right? Okay, I had to verify that it was, in fact, the left path. Okay, so let's do the right path this time. And see where that takes us. Does that take us... Oh, wait, that takes us out. Okay, so we want to go to the red area. Okay, okay. So we will head to the red area. Uh, nope, let's try 
There we go. What even is this? It sounds like a furnace. Alright, let's head in here. What's through here? Is that a squirrel or a person up there? I don't know. It looks like something waving... Yeah, it's a person! In that... Hello? Is it Catherine? I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm not sure what this is. We got the wheel and then a tall person, but it looks sort of... What has he got? I don't know. Where, oh, she's running over there. We gotta chase her. Alright, let's see if we can catch up to her. Hello? Oh, are you coming? Wait, are you coming to me? Do I need, do I need to run? Oh, wait, you have a... No, that does look like a lady. Like, with the braid in the back. It looked like she had a... A person with her. Like a child. Hello? Knock three times? Alright. Um. Hello? Is anyone home? Um. Where are we? Are these like actual houses? I don't know. The only one I can seem to reach. Let's see. Let's climb up and around. What's over here? Okay, so... What do we have here? Uh, some kind of weird pedestal? Another weird pedestal? And another weird pedestal? I have no idea. Oh, but there's this. Are you cooking something? What is this? I don't know. We don't see anyone. What is that? Can I grab that? I guess I cannot grab it. But what is this? It's the minecart, I assume? Oh! Okay, okay. It takes it down. Okay. Let's pull it back up. So we could get down that way in theory. Maybe? What's in here? Let's see. Hello? Okay, okay. So yeah, we could drive and get out this way. But I, I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, maybe in a little bit. I want to explore this area a little bit more. I want to find those people. Hello? Can I look in your window? Um, nobody wants to let me in. Hello? Hello? Please let me in. I won't hurt you. All right. They're not letting me in. I heard a baby. Where do I hear that baby? Where am I hearing the baby? Can I go? I cannot. Where? Hmm. It's got to be in here, right? Maybe if I keep knocking? Let me in? Please? Hello? He's not going to let me in. Oh, hi. Um, hello. Hello. 
that's all we get is a look through the window and then she's gonna be like man this person's really annoying they won't stop knocking all right we got to figure out how to get in there what can we do I mean, there's this, but I don't know what we would put on it. We can't pick any of this stuff up. Um, unless there's something we're supposed to pick up from another area, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to try this one more time in case there's something I missed. Because maybe, maybe we missed something. And we, can we do anything? We can't move any of these dials. Yeah, we definitely can't do anything with this yet. It's like locked. They, they've locked their car, guys. But, I'm wondering if that might somehow have drained that pool we found maybe we can look all right turn this way and go down can we see it it was over right over here right yeah we still this still isn't drained there's something there's something here We've got to be able to figure out how to drain this water. Is there a pipe? There's that over there. There's this gauge here. There's stuff all along the bottom, but how can we get to it, I wonder? That's the part I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm actually not sure. Was there always this giant? What is that? It's like a giant axe of some sort. Was that always there? Maybe it was. Oh. Hello there. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. Okay. They're swimming off. Interesting creatures. Okay, um, what do we got over here? Anything we can do anything with? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a symbol. You know, this is similar. If we uh, hold this down, what happens if we hold this down? nothing yeah it just won't stay i don't know what those little balls mean but it's not the first one we've seen it's the second one at least it's got to do something if we can figure out how to make them stay put i think that's the key thing if we lower this down is there any way to actually get to it uh, I'm a little skeptical that there is. Maybe, maybe it puts it in that submarine, but I, I in that little underwater area, but I kind of doubt it. It's right there. So, I don't know. Can we get to that? Is that a thing we can do? Let's give it a try, I suppose. Sorry, lady, you had your chance. I'm moving on to other things. All right. We cannot get to it, right? Because I feel like we want to come here. But I don't know how we would summon the submarine to us. Because I think it's over here. We can't even see it from this angle. We can, we can get to it, uh, where we lowered it, but then we can't do anything with this. 
but I think we'll have to pause here and give it some thinking, try and figure out what exactly we're supposed to do next. I'm not sure that we have explored the whole map. We've explored a good bit for sure, but we have not located Catherine and we have not located Gen. Well, at least we don't know if we have located Catherine. We have located a lady, but I'm assuming it's the child's mother, but who knows? We will figure out more in the next episode. So I hope that you enjoyed this and we will continue our explorations next time. So if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. If you want to watch live, we're on Twitch at twitch.tv slash they are 27. I have my schedule posted in the about and in the description. And if you want to see which games we're playing each day, I post them on x.com slash they are 27. And I hope you join me in the next one. Until then, guys, bye.